You're gonna have to get your napkins ready because I'm showing you the ultimate slather Ooh. with my garlic and soy sticky ribs. Ooh. Okay. That oh. deserves a round of applause before I wow. get it. This is not very French. People don't know oven ribs me. are the best ribs. Wow. Not very <laughs> Frenchy. So um, I'm actually going to start with the rub that's going to go on the ribs. And um, Jeffrey, you are then all dressed in white. Mm -hmm. Wait, gonna, what was that? Yeah, that of Still course, mustard. grainy mustard for the little pop of the seeds with brown sugar. Measured salt in this case, quarter teaspoon of ground cloves. Oh, mm. gosh. Just a little. Yeah. Um, uh, dry mustard and dry ginger. We're going to mix mm. all that together. Actually, you're going to mix all that together. Almost like a five spice vibe. A little bit, yeah. a little bit. But the mustard and, and the brown sugar, right? And he, Jeffrey, then I want you to just brush these ribs. With this? With all this. It's going to become like a paste. I already know I'm making this. I, I know it's just happening. Yes, and the great oh. thing is, so I already blanched the ribs. I dropped them in boiling water for two minutes just to kind of like get them ready mm. so that they get extra crispy. That's one of my favorite things to do. I do it with a whole chicken. I do it with ribs. I just drop it in boiling water for one minute, take it out, dry it. You can do it with a duck and you get that right. super crispy skin and that's gonna mm. help. Look at this. Picasso over here. You're not like cooking it in the boiling water. Oh, I mean, you're nice. still you're retaining that flavor and that fat in there, right? Yeah, absolutely. So Jeffrey is just, and so we're gonna pop that in the fridge for six hours and up to twelve. You can just throw them in overnight, even uncovered, honestly, to let them yeah. kind of dry out. Mm -hmm. You know, and get that mm -hmm. that refrigerator tan. Now we're gonna make the sauce. I'm gonna start with some rice wine vinegar, nice and kind of mild, but some acidity, and then really. Just hoisin, a lot of it. That is a lot of hoisin. Mm. You know what? It really is, but you know, it's kind of like ketchup. It yeah. does so much work. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Dijon. Oh, there it is, more. more yeah, well, you know what? I, so I made this sauce a bunch of times, and I kept adding stuff to it to give it the right body. Mm -hmm. mm. Do you know what I mean? Apple cider vinegar, soy sauce. Ooh. I use, this is. I use the, the low. This is an umami bomb. It's gonna give us mm -hmm. some color too. And then I, I use so. this soy. I use low sodium soy. I, I I really just generally go to that. Me too. That's what I use. A Sad. little bit of sesame oil. I feel like oh. we add sesame oil to stuff, but I want to make it work a little bit. So I'm gonna sweat some Ooh. garlic in the sesame mm. oil. Make you sweat till you bleed. Yeah, I want every bit of flavor, and then some crushed coriander seeds. It's real. Yeah. Oh. You know what I learned on the Instagram? As we're talking about it? Yeah. On, the on the Instagram? On the Instagram <laughs> about Sesame. What movie is Open Sesame? What movie? When uh, they say Open Sesame, it's like a... Open Says Me. It's Open Says Me. It's you thought it was Open Sesame. Sesame. I did for years. Look oh, at you. So man. did I. I was this years old. Thank you. I just learned that too. now. I, remember I thought it was Open it's Sesame. It's Open Says Me. I, uh, that's fake news, man. Oh, it I is? gotta look that no, up. No, 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 it oh. is. I looked it up. I read that when I was 14 on Prodigy and my dial-up modem. Before Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> well, it just made me think of it when you said sesame. I'm like, I gotta tell it. I just cook the garlic just for a minute, roll it. You just, I really just wanna toast the coriander until you can smell it. This is profoundly unusual. And let the sesame go into the, right into those garlic slices. So when you bite in, you get just a separate taste and then just drop that right in there. That is the extra step that you should not neglect. Mm. <laughs> Right? Absolutely. So after this is cooked for a while, oh. it just gets this wonderful, it, it gets that texture. Oh, wow. wow. It really wow. reduces down. And then mm. oh, what's what's that? a big scoop of chili crunch. Is that, yeah. a, is that Calabria or got, crunchy chili? She just throwed a whole pantry chili. up in that joint right now. You're right. You're right. I literally, you, you can just dump Walk your whole through pantry. Walk your pantry, yeah. Set. Just leave the quinoa behind I mean, on this one. Speaking of social media, that's. Chili crisps are everywhere. Oh my God, I love it. Remember, though. we even put them on ice cream once. I, I had it was that. I liked it. Yeah, and it was actually good. It was good. really, yeah. really good. I love those on eggs. Okay, so you see how once this cooks down, all that hoisin and everything just makes this great texture. Wow. Shine wow. appeal. Mm -hmm. Ribs. Yeah. Those are some meaty ribs. Yeah, and it's hard to believe that the transformation from here to here happens in like 25, 30 minutes of just cooking it down on the stove. Je goûte ça. Tu vas goûter? Oui. Okay. Jeffrey's gonna taste. Excusez-moi. Jeffrey's gonna taste. I'm just fascinated by this. It's nice to, you can kind of taste. How is it? Is you it too salty? You fascinate me. Is it too salty? It's amazing. It's purely unusual. Yeah, you said it's peculiarly. No, to that, that, that method of the, of the garlic and coriander, I've never seen that. 
<laughs> well, it's smart. I'm gonna save some of this. Oh yeah. So for dunking. Should bottle that. That's, That's right. really good. Maybe like half. Really. And good. then we've got set aside just what we want to use on the ribs. Okay. And I just get. I'm starting to. What glit. kind of ribs are these? Did you specify? Well, these are spares. It looks like. Yeah. Spares? Okay. Mm -hmm. Did you trim them? Take the skin off and all that? Well, they're St. Louis Membrane? style, so to speak. So it implies all that trimming has been okay. done exactly. Make sure those. But well, I mean, honestly, you could use a whole pork shoulder for this if you oh, didn't I would feel like do doing that. ribs. What else could you use? This is like a, the best pork shanks. I feel I like. Mean, yeah, pork. Something low and slow like that. I'm gonna just cover them with foil because we're really gonna bake them. We're gonna oh bake them God. first, too... and then we're gonna just take the. You know what? I don't have a block of pecorino. <laughs> Says and the guy six who probably smoked parsley. meat for ten hours. <laughs> It's just, it's the beauty of route ribs. I mean, you gotta, you gotta treat them right. You gotta slow and low. Yeah, this is like that paraffin pedicure when they get your feet yeah, in the little moisture. bags. Yeah. And they... How long is this gonna cook? And what's the temperature? Six days. No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna cook this actually probably for a total of about three hours. We're gonna really get into this. I mean, these, are, that's what you these have do. to be yeah, photo yeah. ready. This is hair and makeup, this okay? Is, my this is what happens. Ah, so what? I'm gonna bake these at 350 degrees for about an hour and a half. Then I'm gonna um, take the foil off and bake for another hour and a half, Ooh. right in that oven. Ooh. And it's really just about that time frame until they're really, you know, mm. ribby. Off the bone. My ribs are just about ready for their photo debut. Baked at 350 degrees for about an hour and a half with foil over them, and then uncovered for an hour and a half, like the full spa treatment. I mean, when something's gonna be photo ready as well as food ready, yeah. Yeah. We gotta go through a lot of stuff. Those now we're gonna perfect. kind of you gotta see the bone. That's the pro that when you see the bone the peeking out, back. the creep back. Yeah, you know what's up, uh, right? Is... Now is, can I? Yeah, is it hot? Asbestosy. Now fingers. speaking of picture perfect, like this is the the video that you post on Instagram, slicing the ribs, standing them up like that. That's yeah. like such a chefy way to do it. Do you guys follow Adam Perry Lang? Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. hey, Slicing those ribs. I like have this cookbook. But he's like, so he, good. he's like dangerous. The guy's on a big yeah. drum. He's just whacking it with an axe. Yeah, it's so well, cool. I, guess I like how I called him APL like I know him. I don't know this guy. You haven't met him? I've, I've only met him he's, once he's on Rachel Ray. Ray. Yeah. He's a he's real, sweetheart. He's a mensch. Yeah. He's a really good yeah. dude. Wonderful person. Hey, I got, I got, speaking of the internet, I got a quick factotum here. Go. Okay. Do you know that the hashtag sticky ribs? Has been posted over six and a half million times. That's no just way. crazy. So we are, we're right on, we're right on trend here, Alex. We're right Sticky in it. Ribs. Look at Jesus tasting, even... and they're not even done yet. Sue so, chef. Yeah, I, well, I'm just saying. Yeah, it's, how, how's it good halfway through? No. So Thank glazed you. again, and a little ten minute like bake, just to dry that sauce out right on the individual ribs. I just sauce these a thousand times. I, I won't seriously. lie. I know, I know it's a bit. It's a bit intense, you right? You don't need to run the heat in your house if you're cooking this in winter because you're opening oh. that oven. Now, one last thing. A little, <laughs> oh. I boiled a little apple cider vinegar oh. and honey yep. with a little fresh ginger. Oh, shut your mouth. Hold on. No. <laughs> All right, the I'm, plates in. And the I'm napkin, sorry. I was yeah. just, oh, I was yeah. trying to see my reflection in these sticky ribs here. I already started. They're, they're, I know, Jeffrey's eating. They're uh, mind blowing. Six of them. I already see the one I want. I, I know, the one I, I want, want that one. Oh, Sonny, you got the one I want. I right. love you, Katie. Oh, I'm just giving now it that's, a dunk that's here. Love. Yeah, can you I dunk? Love. Okay, yep. I'll take you one. You and I always right want now. the same one. We do, because we know the Sesame. good bite. Ooh, look at that. Mm. Oh, it's out now for some oh wild reason. Oh my gosh, reason. Alex. Oh, God. Is there enough sauce? Mm. No. Yeah, yeah, but I'll take some more.